David Belanger. I'm going to show you a quick way to get metal threads in your prototype part. This is great if you have a prototype that you're going to be assembling and putting together and taking apart many times. Uh, first, the inserts that we use are brass inserts we get from McMaster Car. The ones we use, they're called heat set inserts for plastic for our FDM parts. They'll give you the whole size for each size on the website. So you have to incorporate this when you're designing your holes in your CAD software. Uh, second, we use a uh, soldering iron, just your typical soldering iron. We get this from uh, Home Depot, I think it was 20 bucks. And um, they, now they make heated presses for doing this type of stuff. They're also for heat staking. Um, it's more of like a, a drill press type looking machine, looks like this. These are used for heat heat staking and pressing in inserts. This makes sense if you're using this type of insert a lot because it's quicker and presses the insert in nice and straight. And they cost around $2,000, so it's something for a more serious uh, shop. And third, we have our just plain old X-Acto knife or any kind of sharp knife with a, a flat edge. I also use it to uh, make sure that the insert is in flush with the surface. Here I have my switch box here I'm going to put an insert in. First I will just take one of the inserts, place it in the hole where it's going to be pushed into. Now with my soldering iron nice and heated up, I just take the point end of it, stick it right in the middle of there, and now add a little bit of pressure. As it starts heating up you'll see it sink right into the hole. Once it's flush with the surface, I'll use my X-Acto blade to put an X over it to make sure it's nice and flush. Then I can also use this to trim away any extra material there. Uh, I'll usually just kind of go back and X it like this and make sure it's nice and flush until it cools down. Now for our object parts, we use what's called a press fit expansion insert. We use these because the object material doesn't uh, deflect or melt as much as the FDM parts do. Uh, these work really simple. They have a little slot in the middle there and a nice knurled outer surface. And uh, these are a lot simpler because we just take it and uh, press it right in. There's no heating or gluing just press that in with something and then once we put the screw in there the outside knurled edge will start to dig into the outer diameter and uh, keep that bolt nice and secure. Thanks for watching and be sure to watch my next video on inserting a hex bolt into an FDM part during the build. Bye. Hi, I'm David Belanger, and I'm going. Hi, I'm David Belanger, and I'm going to show you a quick way to get metal threads in your. Hi, I'm David Belanger. Hi, I'm David Belanger. I'm going to show you a quick way to get metal threads in your prototype parts. This is great if you're going to be 